Hi, brothers and sisters. If imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, then I really have to uh, feel flattered by this little gem that my friend Joey Bag of Donuts cooked up. Thanks, Joey. Looks just like me. And uh, I've been getting a little bored with the channel. And uh, after the Trump apocalypse and the, you know the the whole last year, uh, seeing the world all topsy turvy and crazy and everything, I just had to take a, a bit of a break. So I haven't been online a whole lot. My furnace crapped out on me and had to be replaced. So that took up a little bit of my time and resources, uh, mostly resources. Um, let's see, what else is new? Well, the Dakota pipeline. Still see militarization, although from what I understand, they're getting tired of the expenses for all of that. Now, I see Standing Rock as a tipping point. Uh, I see it as them wanting to repress it very quickly, which it's not, and uh, the police are not going to go along with it anymore. Even private security people and some, some of those nasty privatized security forces and that, eventually people are going to be so disgusted and treat these people like the animals they're behaving like, and the cops won't be there anymore to fight against the people for oil, for the right to keep raking it in while climate catastrophe stares us in the face. And of course, it's just a hoax. This is what the Alex Jones of the world have told you. I found it interesting that Mr. Jones is shilling like crazy for for Donald Trump. And uh, Trump disgusts me. I, Hillary Trump, they both disgusted me throughout this past election season. I still have a soft spot in my heart for Bernie Sanders. I was so broken hearted uh, that he was cheated out of his rightful place and then DNC. And they ran such an unpopular candidate that, and such a corrupt candidate that even Donald Trump, Donald friggin' Trump, looked better than who they picked to run. Will the DNC ever get out of the wilderness? It's hard to say. It doesn't seem like it at this point with them appointing Schumer. I mean, what is... What is it that these people don't understand about alienating their base? There's going to be fewer and fewer of any sort of base if they continue on this right-wing path that they've been on for decades. It's been a disaster from day one. Well, I'm feeling very old because I'm getting very close to my... 60th birthday and one cannot live this long without drawing some conclusions uh, or maybe you can because I know a lot of people my age that refuse to see that are ignorant of politics uh, they're ignorant of what's going on around them and willfully so and I think this was you know exhibited with people that supported Hillary Clinton, they willfully blind to the facts. And as a result, a sleazy real estate developer slash game show host has got his hands on the control of the ship of state. And when you see the people he's surrounding himself with, it's so hilarious because these are all establishment political hacks uh, swamp dwellers if you will 
he's actually refilling the swamp as we speak. Newt Gingrich. <laughs> Newt Gingrich. They, as in the contract on America. People have such incredibly short memories and I've been either cursed or blessed with an excellent long-term memory. My short-term memory is not as good, but my long-term memory, I can remember details from 40, 50 years ago, minute details. I don't know why, my mind just works like that. So it's interesting having a mind like that and following uh, political discourse for the last, um, oh, 50 years, no, not, well, Let's see. No, I was 10. Ah, no, I, I got interested in, in the uh, political side of things when I was about 12 years old. So i looking at a few decades of, of seeing what has happened to, to society in the intervening years and how we continue to replace one fake side with the other fake side. And it's the same bunch of people still in control. It's the military industrial complex robbing people blind to pay for their death machines. So isn't it interesting that Hillary Clinton lost the election and won the popular vote? Now anybody that's watched this channel even for a little bit of time uh, realizes I've never been a big fan of Hillary Clinton. But in all fairness, I understand people protesting and uh, people are leaving the most insulting comments for people that are protesting the, the uh, Trump regime coming in. And unfortunately, the Democratic Party brought this defeat on themselves and so I don't have a whole lot of sympathy. I was a big supporter of Bernie Sanders, always have been since before he ran actually i used to watch him on the, the old tom hartman show and tom became a, a dnc sellout so i had to unsubscribe which was a shame because i always liked tom and he seemed like a like a reasonable human being but the blindness to hillary's flaws and pushing hillary and uh, yeah 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 I feel so sorry for people that, and there are millions of them that did not want either Hillary the crook or Drumpf the multi-millionaire crooked real estate carnival barker uh, reality TV show uh, psychopath. You had to choose between two psychopaths. Do you want? this psychopath? Well, that was interesting. I don't know why, but around where I live now, they never stop with the sirens. It didn't used to be that way. It seems I can't go out of the house without sirens, sirens, sirens. And of course this increases people's stress level, and I have to wonder, do they do this deliberately? There can't be that many emergencies, can there? Other than maybe you want to go to the donut shop in a hurry? I don't know. I don't get it. I'm fed up with it. Just You can't get as old as I am without becoming somewhat cynical. And you've seen it all before. And increasing waves, it gets fucking worse. Not better. We've known about global climate change. Since the 1970s, we've known what pollution has done to our air, to the quality of water. We know all this. We've known this for years and sat on our hands and done absolutely bugger all about it. So now we find ourselves in this disgusting situation with a neo-fascist president and an endless war economy. Now what is it Mr. Trump wants? You know, these people that supported Trump and they, some of them even call themselves progressives. Well that disgusts me. How can anybody who considers themselves even remotely progressive 
vote for a neo-fascist demagogue and support the idiot as he's going, oh yes, I like private prisons. I love that. Oh, we need to spend more money on the military, not less, more. We're too weak. We got to make each make America great. Whatever the fuck that is. You know what would it make make America great? Universal health care, a good public education system, roads, sewers, bridges. The sort of thing that civilized countries like to have. That would make America great. Do you think Donald Trump is going to give you anything that he's promised? Anything? Even the slightest little thing? And all that hatred towards Hillary that, oh yes, you know, put her in jail, put her in jail, yeah, Trump will put her in jail. Of course he's not going to put her in jail. They're friends, you idiot. All the ruling class are the same bullshit. They won't let an outsider near political power. Anybody with half a brain knows that. And how could this idiot... When Donald Trump entered the race, I thought it was funny. I thought, how... People aren't that stupid. I mean, they voted for W, but... And then they voted for Ray. Well, maybe they are that stupid. So what we're going to see is a vast regression in America, uh, not making America great, but making America insular, making America more of an empire, uh, more militarism, uh, dirty energy contributing to climate change. Repression of indigenous people. A continuation of the war on drugs. This is all what you've voted for. You may not realize it. You think he's going to bring jobs back to the Rust Belt? You're out of your mind. Completely out of your mind. And his so-called infrastructure project? It's all going into private hands, private slush funds. You'll be lucky if you get a few jobs out of it. You'll be lucky if it does anything. It's going to get worse, not better. America has elected a madman to the most powerful position on earth, and the rest of the world has to suffer along with America because of stupid, stupid redneck idiots fueled by hatred and xenophobia. What a wonderful example of democracy to set to the rest of the world. It's going to take revolts in the streets, national strikes, shutting down the harbors, shutting down transportation systems, shutting down everything. Because it's the only way to stop this fascist moving forward. The one good thing about Donald Trump's election is that it's obvious now. It's obvious what the Republicans are. It's obvious. They're going to stick a knife right in your front instead of your back like the DNC do. And it is rather poetic justice that Hillary Clinton lost the election. And more likely than not, by flip and strip tactics, which is why Jill Stein is actually concerned about election fraud in those states. Uh, this next little piece is by Freighter Chaos. Chaos, Freighter Chaos. I think he's married to Julia Propeller. Some people out there might get the joke, but it's uh, it's some pretty impressive animation that he does with fractals, and I hope Freighter that you don't mind that I speeded this up because I, it's it's awesome, and I'm trying to fit everything into this short video. So, um, 
people's attention spans are short and this is an incredible animation and everybody just take a look at this so this is uh, from freighter chaos channel I had to ask myself why it was that I was making YouTube videos. Aside from the fact that I enjoy the, the process of putting them together, I suppose the reason I came up with that I enjoy it is certainly have no pretensions of ever earning a penny off of it and I don't really care about that. I never expected to make a penny off of it. So I keep going and I was thinking that I, I think that a lot of people's channels on YouTube and a lot of the people that, that make YouTube videos, I've come to the conclusion that they're by and large narcissists in some way or another. And I don't want to paint everybody with a too broad a brush, but what I have found is that there's a certain personality trait to a lot of people and it's it's all about them or their channel and their I always like trying to create some sort of community here and I I have had some success with meeting some very very good people and very interesting people but by and large the rewards I am getting from making these videos are shrinking and shrinking uh, in terms of um, in terms of any emotional satisfaction that I, that I get out of them and that's simply the novelty of having somebody actually listen to what I'm saying and give a shit because let's face it most of us have our opinions and have our beliefs and generally don't listen to the other side very much and I try and remain open to that possibility. I try not to come down too hard on people that disagree with me because who knows maybe you convince me of something that I'm wrong about. None of us are brilliant I mean maybe some people are brilliant Giovanna X now she's brilliant I suppose it's that I have made friends with many young people on here and I don't have kids never had kids never well, have felt the need to uh, reproduce my own psychoses so I enjoy the only contact I get with younger people really is is through social media and that's unfortunate because I really do think that there's something that us older folks can pass along to the younger generation some of us but my generation as a whole I don't really have a lot of respect for my generation and perhaps that's unusual, but it's just a lifetime of seeing that people's integrity sometimes shifts with the wind. Uh, if it becomes inconvenient to stand for justice, they will 
just say, oh well, I have to make a living, I have to do this, and I can't, I can't sacrifice anything. So I have to go on. And that's what brought us to this terrible precipice of disaster that we find ourselves in. It's, it's difficult to have watched this happen. And this is, to, to have watched the disintegration of civil society so that we're at a point now where people are at each other's throats. What if Donald Trump had had the popular vote and yet lost? I think what you would be seeing wouldn't be just some protests out in the streets. I think you'd be seeing gunplay by these right-wing nutcases that somehow think that Herr Trump is the answer. It's very sad to see the, the amount of ignorance and, and... Well, Trump said he loved the uneducated and because they can't see through them, even though it's simple to see through people like that for most intelligent people. But you tell them what you want to hear and you sprinkle it with a, a little bit of hatred and a little bit of blame, blame this person, blame that group of people. Classic fascism, classic totalitarianism. And I still hear people saying, well, you know, we're going to give Trump a chance. Maybe he's not really going to be that extreme. Well, judging from the people he surrounds himself with, I'd say you're in for a very rude shock, America. You can't reason with a psychopath. This person has no qualifications whatsoever to be president. This person had a hell of a history of psychopathy and treating people horribly, stepping on anybody. And this is what I hate about our society and how it's become uber competitive and more so. I mean, this shit really came to fruition during Reagan because what happened then was the whole mantra of, well, greed is good. All of a sudden, the television was telling everybody, we're all more conservative now. And, and people bought into it. And they, they, women were dressing with these like 1950s high frilly collar things and, and, and guys were cutting their hair all off and dressing in three-piece suits. It was a horrible decade for me. I was still a hippie. I'm still a hippie now. So it, the 80s were when they brought in this hyper-competitive attitude. You've got to just get ahead no matter what. And it doesn't matter who you screw, who you step on. Step on your own mother if you want to. Because as long as you get there first, you're okay. What a bunch of crap. And people... There are people in our society who do well uh, or who feel like they have the need to compete and best other people. I've never personally had that strong sense of, I I've got to be better than this person. I don't understand, uh, for instance, somebody being jealous or upset by somebody else's success. That, that makes no sense to me. In our culture, it has become really commonplace for uh, to denigrate somebody else's uh, success as if by doing that you were somehow enhancing your own sense of self, your own sense of self-worth. No, you're just making the world a more miserable place by harboring that kind of resentment. It's stupid. It's childish. Grow up. Well, that's my rant for this week. Thanks if you stayed all the way through. <laughs> Bless you and thank you. And I look forward to seeing all of you soon. Uh, thanks to uh, the usual cast of characters that are my subscribers. And I like to think of us as, as kind of joined at the hip in a lot of ways. So be well, everybody. Take care of each other. 
Look after your sister, look after your brother, look after your animals, and peace. Everybody says that, nobody does it. Peace, what does that mean? Don't blow your neighbor's head off, eh? That's a peace, what's that, what's that? Yeah, I'm so cynical, bye.